after Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money. I heard. To, to Zip. Zip had a check in his right pocket, right back pocket, and that check was for a million dollars. If he would have gave him them the money, it'd have been a murder for hire and Puffy would be locked up. America was asking big questions about the talents of Tyson, and Tyson really could not have answered them in a more emphatic manner. Mike Tyson, how you feel about him saying that he wish he had five seconds in a room with Tupac Killer? I don't only need one second with you. Tupac's Amarder remains one of the biggest mysteries in Hollywood, with new and shocking revelations still coming out all these years later. All the details about the Amarder point towards one person, Sean Combs Aka Diddy. This time, Tupac's close friend Mike Tyson has spoken up against Diddy. This time, Diddy should be really scared because Mike has warned everyone of Diddy's reality and he's ready to bring justice to his late friend. Mike Tyson, how you feel about him saying that he wish he had five seconds in a room with Tupac Killer? And I only need one second with you, dude. Tupac was one of the greatest rappers the world had ever seen. That like most rappers of his time, he was involved with all sorts of gangs and violence. This lifestyle might look cool and badass in the beginning, but it doesn't end well. Tupac made many enemies for himself in the industry, including some very big and powerful names. His biggest mistake, however, was coming in the bad books of Hollywood's biggest bully and monster, Diddy. So Puffy knew Tupac was going to get robbed at Kowalski? Well, I don't think he... I, I, I'm not going to say he knew exactly he was going to get robbed, but he knew he was going to get dealt with. Tupac's murder left everyone devastated and shocked, but none more than his dear friend Mike Tyson. Mike isn't just sad at the death, but also incredibly angry, and he's ready to fight whoever hurt Tupac. Mike Tyson, how you feel about him saying that he wish he had five seconds in a room with Tupac Killer? I only need one second with you, dude. All Mike needs is a few minutes with Tupac's murderer, and he's ready to bring justice to Tupac himself. Peep D, the gangster who was hired for the hit, isn't phased by Mike's threats, but he should be. Mike Tyson, who was close friends with Tupac, said that he wishes he had five minutes in the room with Tupac's killer. <laughs> Maybe this is because Keith knows the real object of Mike's wrath isn't him. It's the one who actually MR dared Tupac, the one who ordered the kill and paid for it. Everyone knows who that is. Diddy should be very scared of Mike's warnings because that man is a match for Diddy, equally dangerous and very angry. He spoke about Tupac's MR during an interview and said it was all planned. I just think, this is my personal opinion, all that stuff was planned in advance. That was the perfect opportunity for something like that to happen. Everybody knew everybody was gonna be there. Tyson says his friend was K-led because he was a force that other men in the industry feared. This is the deal with Tupac, and this is just the real. Tupac was just a force. He was an uncontrolled force, and that was the problem. He was powerful. No one could control him. People like Diddy want to be gods and cannot bear the thought of someone else achieving fame and success. Tupac was murdered on his way back from a Mike Tyson fight. America was asking big questions about the talents of Tyson, and Tyson really could not have answered them in a more emphatic manner. Mike can't help but feel responsible to some extent. He said, I feel a little guilty about him coming to the fight and me pressuring him. I was supposed to go out with him that night. I promised to go to the 662 with him that night, but I just had a little baby and her mother was provoking me to stay home, so I stayed home. Mike and Tupac had a beautiful and unconditional friendship that started in a rather unexpected way. Mike was in jail when Tupac decided to go see him, even though the two hardly knew each other. He recalls the story of how the two became friends. I get a call from somebody, it's Tupac's mother. She explains how she knows me from her son, explains that I met him at a club one night and that he wants to come and visit me. I said, great, okay. Tyson is now left with so many regrets over the times he didn't hang with Tupac. He had found a true friend in Tupac, but Diddy took that away from him. He always wanted me to smoke weed with him, and I never did it, and I wish I did. That's my biggest regret. He talked about Tupac like Tupac was a saint. Mike had an incredibly close bond with Tupac, and he wants everyone to know what Tupac meant to him. He had a heart as big as this planet. He had so much love and compassion, and you couldn't even see it under his rage. He's going to last until the time this earth comes to an end. He said, I'm glad to be a part of his life and to have known him. Tupac's death left Mike broken and extremely angry at Diddy. But this anger at Diddy started way earlier. Diddy hurt Mike at his lowest. Mike was struggling at one point after his career went down. And instead of helping him get back to his feet in a respectable manner, Diddy got him involved in all sorts of gay parties. Nigga, I'm doing this. My mother died. My father died. I'm on myself. I'm selling my body to these people. And then these people tell you some stuff. You say, fuck this shit. I don't belong here. <laughs> Mike needed someone sincere to pull him out of this hole, someone like Tupac who would support him unconditionally. But Diddy left him way more broken than he had found him. 
It's no surprise that Mike wants to get his hands on Diddy. It isn't just a rumor anymore that Tupac was murdered in cold blood by Hollywood's biggest producer. Diddy is a dangerous man and he isn't afraid to get his hands bloody for the sake of power and money. The detective working on Tupac's murder case revealed that Diddy was the one to order the kill. He put a $1 million hit on both Tupac Shakur and Suge Knight. The reason? Nothing but his bruised ego. This hit was ordered after the highly publicized rap beef involving himself and Biggie. How do you think the detective found out? The gangster hired for the kill admitted so himself. Even then, the detective couldn't do anything and bring Tupac justice. The American law has agreements. They can tell us everything they know about their own involvement in a crime, but we cannot use their own incriminating statements against them. So even though the killer admitted to the crime, he even explained how Diddy was the one to hire him. The police knows, the detective knows, we all know Diddy is the murderer. Yet, he walks free. Diddy didn't just murder Tupac in the heat of the moment. In fact, he planned out everything and hired multiple people to make sure his name wouldn't come up with the murder. I was offered $30,000 to perform. Diddy paid Zip a million dollars after Tupac was murdered. But Zip was only the middleman. His job wasn't to kill Tupac. In fact, all he had to do was transfer the funds onto the actual killer. Even though Diddy tried to be really thorough in his work, he couldn't stop his bodyguard at the time, Gene Deal, from snooping around. That's how we know this story about Zip getting the money is real. Zip had a check in his right pocket, right back pocket, and that check was for a million dollars. If Zip wasn't the one to shoot Tupac, then who was? Diddy isn't some small town criminal. He's a whole mafia who hangs out with the worst gangsters that America has seen. One of these gangsters is Keith D. Keith was the one Diddy had actually hired to carry out the KLL. But wait, there is another twist to the story. Keith wasn't the one who K-led Tupac either, or at least that's what he says. According to Keith, it was his nephew Orlando Anderson. Keith is as unafraid as Diddy himself. He even openly recalls the time Tupac was shot and brutally MR dared. He talked about this in an interview. We just pulled up to the stoplight. They were making a right. There were about 17 cars. We just pulled up in the gutter lane and seen their SS, and that first shot hit Big Boy in the head. I thought he was dead. Like, damn, he's dead. The money that Keith was supposed to receive from Zip never got to him. This put Keith and Diddy on the wrong foot, but also helped Diddy get out of any direct involvement in the murder case. Keefe D and them never got the check, which in the grand scheme of things probably worked out best if Puff actually did write a check for that because otherwise you'd be connected to that situation. If the money had reached Keefe, Diddy could have been tried in court and Tupac could finally be brought to justice. If he would have gave him them the money, it'd have been a murder for hire and Puff would be locked up. All these people, Zip and Keefe and Anderson were just pawns in Diddy's game. The real murderer was him and lying. Even today, anytime Diddy is asked about Tupac and his murder, he starts sweating. You can tell by the way he is so insistent on putting a stop to this question that he is very uncomfortable in answering it. That claimed, which we know was the truth. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. But of course, Diddy can never escape this fate. Everyone knows what he has done, and people won't let him forget it. Big names like Aminem talk openly of Diddy being a murderer in his rap. The day you put out a hit is the day Diddy admits he put the hit out that got Pac killed. As much of a gangster Diddy would like to portray him as, there is nothing he can do to stop people from talking. Well, unless he tries to put a hit on them all too. A fan wrote that Tyson and Tupac's friendship was beautiful and it's no wonder that he still wants to bring justice to his friend. Just saw an emotional footage of Tupac and Mike Tyson hours before his death. Tyson truly loved Tupac, sad cause we miss him. That's it for today folks, until next time, goodbye.